Hello, my name is Debbie DeGraff. You are with me at Bills Hill Elementary Cafeteria. This is the science camp day where the fifth graders are doing hands-on investigations in order to prepare them and to review some of the important TEKS for the upcoming science test in May. The reason we do this and the purpose for this particular day is, first of all, we can review so much in just one day, and we feel like this will strengthen their core knowledge and get them ready for that STAR test. For example, you can see they are looking at matter and measuring massing matter, which is very simple, but we just want to make sure that they know how to do that on a triple beam balance. They are also making sedimentary rock, looking at how fossil fuels have been formed using peanut butter and jelly. Hopefully they'll find some fossils when they open up their bread with the Swedish fish making an imprint on the bread. The other investigation that is going on behind me is the insulators and conductors, looking at heat energy, looking at electrical energy, making a circuit, and looking at what kinds of materials might stop or insulate the, the heat or might let it flow out, might not be a good insulator, such as metal. All of these are specific things they need to know for the STAR test in May. The other thing that children, the students have been working on for about three to four weeks is each lab group has been working on their own trifold presentation. They have used their technology. They will be using their iPads. They have some songs. They have a, a nice board to demonstrate and to show uh, states of matter, to show weathering, erosion, deposition. They will be showing about, talking about, explaining about light energy. Those are some of the examples, some of the things that they have been doing in order to review for our test. Hello, we're here with Alizé at the sedimentary rock layers table. Alizé, tell me what you're doing today. We're forming rocks using the bread and the Swedish fish and we're using the peanut butter. We're using the white bread to represent the, the sandstone. Right? And then we're using the Swedish fish to represent fossils and then the jelly is supposed to be representing coal and oil. And then, I forgot what else. <laughs> okay, and so while you're making this, while you're doing this, you're really talking about the rock cycle, right? How the rock cycle, the compaction, how it um, needs to have time and pressure in order to form those fossils, in order to form those layers. All right, good. And of course, you've got to know that for that upcoming test, right? Tell us a little bit about what you did today during your rotations in the morning. Well, we learned from, we did our first rotation with Mr. Richter. We had done, like, how to separate the mixtures, mixtures and solutions. He learned how to separate it, and he showed us an example and what he would do if it was a real thing on test. And then for our second station, we were Miss Simons, and she did complete and incomplete metamorphosis with us. We learned a lot about different types of them and that we didn't know that some were and weren't complete. And then for our third rotation, we went outside to the greenhouse, and we did looking at the plants and, like, transpiration and looking at that. And then we felt textures of the soil to mark down and our little papers. And then for our... Fourth one, we have Ms. Galvan. We learned about food webs and food chains. We learned about an ocean, a prairie, and a forest food chain. And then for our last station, we went and to Ms. Hands and we learned about the solar system. We did what all the differences were and what how they were similar to each other, the sun, earth, and moon. And then we did a little short sentence of remembering all the planets. Can you give me that short way, that short sentence to help you remember that your planets keep them in order? Yes. My very excellent mother just served us nachos. Excellent. Thank you. Now, can you, can you give me an idea, maybe, how is this beneficial? How is this helpful? Do you feel this is helpful to you, and how? 
Yes, because like if this was really on the test, they would show us like what, how would it be formed? Like we know it's heat, time, and pressure because we had to do the model, so it'd be easier for us to like just learn from it. And then when the start test would really come, it could be an example on the test, and then we will know because we did it. Okay, because you put your hands on it and you and you actually maybe tasted it a little bit in a minute. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate your your time. Enjoy your uh, rock sandwich there. Hi, Leo. What are you doing today? We're testing electrical energy by doing electrical circuits and looking at which of these materials are conductors and insulators. Okay, and can you explain a little bit about what's the deal about electrical circuits and conductors and insulators? What do you know about those? Insulators can stop the flow of energy in electricity and insulators are conductors when it's about heat energy. Conductors are, they let energy flow, electrical energy. And when they are used in heat energy, they are insulators. Is water a liquid or a solid? Liquid. I want you to go through and label all of the liquid substances with an L. Hi, Mr. Williams. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I would like to just ask you, and I want to say thank you for participating today in our science camp. What is your station and, and what's it about? We're classifying matter by density. And we first looked at different densities of different substances. And then we looked at the mass in grams of substances. And now we're going over a few test questions that they might see on the upcoming test. Do you feel this is beneficial and why? Yes, it's important for them to actually see in real life what they're being asked about on paper. Great. Haley, do you have anything you wanted to add? Have you learned anything today? You know, we had a long day today. We've been doing a whole lot of investigations. Can you tell me anything that, that has been fun or something maybe like an aha moment that you've gotten from today? Um, well, we learned about learned behaviors and inherited traits. Good, thank you. All right, awesome. Ms. Gutierrez, hi, I'm so glad to see you and I wanted to tell you thank you. I know you're a third grade teacher, but you took your time this afternoon to help out our fifth graders here at Bills Hill. And could you just give me an example of kind of what you're doing at this station? We are working on force and friction. They are determining what surface will travel, help the cars travel the furthest. We've tested different surfaces, they've measured, and then they decided was it a pull or a push. And then they wrote down their answers and were able to investigate it themselves. Great. That sounds like you're having a lot of fun. So let me ask you, what were the three materials that you were using and then which one was the fastest? Which one let your car go the furthest? How about this young man over here? Thomas, could you show me the materials that you were using? We were using sand, paper, and whatever this is called. <laughs> and the four. And what is this? Four. Aluminum foil. Okay. And when you did your test, what was your conclusion? What, did you, what were your results? Um, this one was faster. This one was slower. This one was medium. And why? Why do you think there was a difference? Because they all got different textures on it. Can you tell me anything about this ramp here? Is there a relationship with how far it goes and, and the ramp? What, what, do you, what do you know about that? The farther up the ramp it goes, the farther it goes. Thank you, Thomas. You did awesome. Let's clap for him. <laughs> Once again, we are at Bills Hill Elementary Science Camp Night, preparing the fifth graders for the upcoming Science Star Night. I am Debbie DeGraff, Science Specialist. Thank you for watching Waco ISD TV.